You will recall the case of Tim De Christopher. He was sentenced two years to two years in prison last July. That would have been July 2011 for interrupting a federal auction of oil and gas leases in 2008. Uh, he was in Salt Lake City, I believe. He was aware of one of these uh, auctions that were taking place. He put a suit on. He went in. He started bidding. He bid up uh, the prices of these um, leases. In the end, he didn't get it. He was outbid. He just raised the prices for federal land. The, the results of this auction were then later nullified for a completely different reason. And yet, this guy was prosecuted and sent to jail for three years. For three years. Even if I didn't have the ability to juxtapose that against the incredible amount of cost to pensioners, to states, to cities, to the millions of people who lost their job because of the financial fraud that took place in the course and the wake of the financial crisis in this country, the mortgage fraud, the relentless securities fraud, even if I was to juxtapose that three years in prison that Tim to Christopher got to the lack of prison time for all those people involved in that, I wouldn't even have to do that to say how ridiculous imprisoning Tim to Christopher was. But he was defiant. He went to jail. And apparently, while in jail in a minimum security uh, camp at the Erlong uh, Federal Prison in California, he became aware that one of, the don one of the donors to his legal defense fund was apparently exporting U.S. manufacturing jobs and laying off workers. And so in an email to a colleague of his at Peaceful Uprising, which was the organization that he founded, he wrote an email to them and saying, um, I feel like I have some influence and hence some responsibility to do something. If they are saving money by screwing their workers, I can't in good conscience accept some of that money. He then in this email relates plans to write to this donor. Remember now, he's threatening this donor to not accept his donation. And that peaceful uprising will agitate and engage in activist activity to convince this manufacturer to keep his jobs in America. Perfectly legal protest by the group and whatnot. He's simply just writing an email. So he writes this email to the donor. And then five days later, he is put into solitary confinement in an 8 by 10 cell with no window and allowed to go out for an hour a day. And he was told by the person who put him into this cell that a congressman had written and demanded an investigation. So De Christopher's lawyer, a guy named uh, Shea, Patrick Shea, suspects that what happened is there is an algorithm that scans emails at the prison. And they picked up on the word threat. In other words, I will threaten to not accept his donation. And that somehow this got back to uh, some prison official who asked a congressman to ask for an investigation. Now, under federal rules, you're not allowed to organize political action from when the pr within the prison. This according to uh, Shea, as interviewed by uh, Douglas Pizak, or excuse me, by Jeff Goodall, uh, in Rolling Stone. And Goodall uh, makes, the, uh, Goodall made, makes the point that to, all De, De Christopher did was to write a letter discussing the idea. He didn't do any organizing. So um, 
as it stands, it's just been reported by a peaceful uprising that DeChristopher has been now taken out of solitary confinement. But it's a reminder, first of all, of the fact that Tim DeChristopher is in prison now because he basically was engaged in a completely harmless prank to highlight how our federal lands are being auctioned off to the highest bidders, to these people who basically want to steal our resources. And they're on top of stealing our resources, they want us to pay for the pollution that it creates in the form of health care, in the form of asthma, in the form of all sorts of other problems, in the form of global warming that this presents. So, glad to hear that Tim DeChristopher is out of solitary confinement. Now how about somebody steps up and pardons him and gets him out of prison for causing absolutely no damage or harm to anyone.